The Ghana Police Service has been the main state agency partnering City TV and City FM in the War Against Undisciplined campaign. So far, more than 500 errant drivers have been arrested, with the state making more than 258,000 Ghana cities from fines imposed. But, in order to address the issues of licensing, management of City TV wrote to the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority, DVLA, to get on board the campaign. Today, that partnership came to life amid mutual agreements. Before the receipt of the letter, we had actually had some discussions in-house. We had observed um, the operation that City TV, together with MTTD had launched and which was going very well. And we felt that, um, hey, why did we not even get this? Why were we not the ones to, to lead with City and, and MTTD? In support but be that as it may uh, it, it was always not too late to to tag along and help get the campaign sustained heads of various units at the dvla exchange ideas with the management of city tv and city fm as they outlined their challenges and plans when you meet them and you stop them the way they look at you as if why should you stop them Meanwhile, while they are driving, there's no anybody, motorcade or what have you, leading them. But, but when you stop them, don't you know me? I mean, all kinds of. <laughs> so if you can also challenge this one, I mean, put up this one so that uh, the, where they sh instead of them helping us, they rather, they are demoralizing our efforts. And of late, too, when we go on road, we see DV print. Being fake, I mean, out of 10, you get about six fake. And in fact, it is actually also draining our, 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 our coffers. I mean, so we, we are actually fighting on those, those things. So as for the compliance, we welcome you because that is my prayer. I wanted a, a, a partner to partner with them so that we can work together. I really think we should think about some of the loopholes in the system when it comes to registration of vehicles in particular and what is happening on the ground. You know, you may be doing the right thing in terms of at the top, but sometimes you need to have this, um, what, what they call mystery shopper approach, where you now just go on the ground and try and see. Because it would be very good for the campaign if you also cut some Goro boys. I'm telling you, because if people know that you are making effort to read the system of the guys who give the fake license, you see, because the fake license, the way they do it, they work with some people in-house. That's, that's the belief. So I feel that should be an area where if you do one or two things for the people to see that DVL itself is committed to weeding this out, it brings back confidence. We have observed the good job that um, City TV is doing as far as this um, operation with the MTT is concerned. And so DVLA has acquired a, a brand new van and we are going to dedicate that to this operation and help push uh, the enforcement drive um, forward. <laughs> this is a collaboration that we hold here we would push it forward and commit resources to it and make sure that it becomes a sustained uh, campaign. Caleb Kuda for City News.